we're talking about emerging prophetic people in relationship to their past and their family life and mm -hmm. how God uses these environments to shape us and refine us and, and pride is a uh, I think is a potential destroyer okay. of many prophetic people. So yep. uh, how much do we need to be aware of that pull towards pride and are the safeguards that will help us on this journey so we don't get derailed yep. by pride as prophetic people? Great question. I, I think that it's the core question uh, as far as character is concerned. If, if pride can take an archangel and make him a devil <laughs> when he was actually in the presence of Almighty no God. No sin, no nothing. What can it do to a human being? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that when I look at uh, 55, 56 years in the ministry, when I look at the number of uh, casualties, yes, I see the key element has always been pride. Pride. When I see those who have gone on to become wonderful expressions of God's heart and and the wonderful favor of the Lord continuing on their life, yeah, humility has always been. It's the make or break, core. right? It's the make or break. Br it's totally pride, the make or break. Humility. And with prophetic people, yeah, here's a point of understanding that I have come to. Yep. The more public the ministry the greater the vulnerability to pride. Mm. The more public acceptance, the more verbal or animated acceptance, such as clapping, such as cheering, such as wow. Um, and we're not going to get away from that because I've heard sometimes people say people almost shouldn't put them on a pedestal or praise. Yeah. Well, they did to Jesus, they did to Paul, they did mm. to Peter. That's the nature of people. So we're not going to stop what they Oh no, you, can, you can't us. control that. So what do we do with that? You can't control how they respond. Yeah, you can't. But you can control who you give the glory to. Come on, that's it. You, that's the it. deferment factor. You know, Very uh, good. Father has done a wonderful thing. Holy Spirit has so graciously ministered today. And not just with words, but from the heart. From the spirit and from your heart. Yeah. You see, one of the most yeah. powerful stories in, in, in the New Testament that people just gloss over is Simon the Sorcerer. Simon the Sorcerer got mm. gloriously safe, mm. all right, water mm. baptized. Yeah, yeah. Full the Spirit. No, he got water baptized. And then he watches the apostles <laughs> yes. laying hands on people, yes. seeing sick people healed, and, and he says, oh, lay hands on me that I might have this gift also, which appears to be a totally legitimate request, a great request. Impartation, yes. Yeah. But Peter, being filled with the Holy Ghost and looking through spiritual discernment, yes. saw the man's heart and said, you, your money perish with you. You yeah. thought this could be more than money? Yeah, and he rebukes him. But what was actually wrong with his request? It wasn't the words that he spoke. Yes. It was the reason he spoke them. Yes. What was Simon actually wanting? Recognition. Recognition. As a sorcerer, if you read the story, he, it says that he would often have crowds around him yep. going, wow, oh, how's he done that? That is amazing. Now, when he gets saved and all mm. the demons leave him, mm. he becomes normal. <laughs> and no longer, the crowds aren't going, wow, look at Simon doing it again. They're not doing that anymore. Yeah, yeah. But when he saw the crowd's response to Peter and to the others, mm. that old desire for mm. recognition, mm. for acclaim, yeah. for applause, for people celebrating him, that came back to the fore. Now, my friends, he lost out. There's not another mention of him. Yes. Could he have become a greatly used apostle prophet in the New Testament? We don't know. But the fact is, he's never heard of again. Why? Because pride and the desire for personal recognition mm. killed any potential he had. And I can tell you now that over these years and decades, yeah. I have seen pride 
which yes. is basically independence. Yes, yes, it, yes. It's, it's receiving a claim that doesn't belong to you, yeah. doesn't belong to me. Yeah. It belongs to him. Yeah. Yeah. And when we esteem other, when we esteem him and we esteem others and we operate out of a humility of spirit, yeah. a position of gratitude and appreciation and celebrating his goodness, yeah. when we keep that core, our tomorrow, our five years from now, 20 years from now, yeah. is safe within the hands of God. And he continues yeah. to direct us. Yeah. But the moment we start believing it's us, yeah. my gift, yeah. Yeah. my ability, mm. what I have done, hey, stir up the praise a bit louder. I need a bit more. Uh, we, it's all coming to me. Yeah. You see, uh, does that make sense? It, can make, it makes sense. And I would like to say that sometimes it's very, very subtle. Yes. I'm, a, I'm aware, and I'm going to be transparent, I'm aware that there's always, no, over the years there's been, I know there's a propensity towards, because mm. everyone wants to feel good. Yep. Everyone wants to feel like you're doing a good job. Yep. Whatever your job, yep. that's not bad, that's not wrong. But when it starts to creep in as a, a it, if it creeps to the further forward in your mind and, yes. you know, you need to recognise it. And then I think intentionally going the opposite spirit. For me, mm. I realize the significance of, you know, when you give, you don't even let your right hand know what your left hand does. And when mm. you pray, go into the secret place and, and pray in secret because your mm. father will reward in public. The, the, the context of what I feel father saying there is if you feel like you're starting to be drawn towards people's response, then do some time with the Lord that no one will know about. Do Good. some things for yeah. others that no one will know that you did it to do a, a death blow to recognition mm -hmm. because it's not about that. I think that heaven will give out incredible rewards to a lot of people like some intercessors and other yeah, people that that's right. no one will know what they did, but man, they did it for the glory of God. So come back to the glory of God You've always said, and we, as we finish this, go in the opposite spirit. Yeah. And so if you feel the pull of pride, then start to do some things in secret, including maybe some encouragements where you don't even sign your name and you, you just bless Good. people Good. so that Good. you are actually blessing people, glorifying the Father, but you're getting no recognition. That's very so good. That's very good. keep your heart humble and uh, we pray that together we'll continue to honour God and be a blessing. Thank you.